Once a prominent art gallery owner, Lawrence Salander was arrested Thursday and escorted to court in Lower Manhattan. Salander is charged with stealing $88 million from investors, including tennis legend John McEnroe. He would just sell paintings that... Uh, that he didn't know. Salander pleaded not guilty to charges including grand larceny, securities fraud, forgery, falsifying business records, and perjury. Charges brought by a grand jury which has sat on the case for six months. The scheme McEnroe found himself a victim of involved the Arshile Gorky painting seen here. Salander allegedly offered McEnroe a chance to jointly buy these paintings, splitting the cost 50-50 with his gallery. But he simultaneously offered the same deal to another investor. Never put your own money in the show! Sound familiar? Investigators joked it sounds an awful like something straight out of the producers. How many halves make up a whole? And when you take a look at these exhibits, you'll see precisely that. Multiple halves of a whole being sold to many different people. Morgenthau also says Salander went on to use both Gorky paintings, neither of which he owned, as collateral for a $2 million loan. He says all the alleged crimes began in 1994 and ended in 2007, the year Salander and his wife filed for bankruptcy protection. All his known assets are frozen in the custody of a bankruptcy court, as are his wife's. His lawyer, Charles Ross, said he knew the investigation was taking place for some time and was prepared. Now his client is trying to raise the $1 million bail set by the judge in the case. There are uh, people that care for him and we're hopeful that other family members or friends will help him in his time of need. Salander also represented the estate of actor Robert De Niro's father, who is an artist, but investigators say that is not part of the 100-count indictment handed down Thursday. Still, the grand jury in this case elected just this week to stay on the case for another six months. In Manhattan, Lily Jamali, New York One.